the like, this is the like, this ain't the like, this ain't the like, boring. Like Y'all already know what time it is, I got the black beat neck on. Hip Hop New York thought they was gonna give us a cute episode and y'all gave us a bunch of random ass people out of nowhere. When I tell y'all I literally took a five minute nap watching this episode of Love and Hip Hop New York, it was boring. Boring, boring, boring. Y'all have a lot of cast members that y'all are trying to introduce and she was just all over the place. So honey, let's go and get into it. Papoose is rapping and he sounded like <laughs> And I don't know who the guy is who's rapping with him, honey. I'm just gonna call him No Neck. I think his name is Jock, um, Jock Quiz or whatever. But you know he ain't putting nobody to bed. Y'all about to put me to bed with this um, episode. Like Papoose is telling his story. I normally like Papoose. Papoose says he's managing his wife, which is Remy Ma. And from reports I'm seeing, it's, it seems like Vincent is the um, manager or whatever. I don't know how that's going, but it's cute. Um, hopefully they can get it together. But whatever this rapping y'all was doing in, on the DJ booth or whatever girl, um, I'm gonna need the DJ to cut the music. Anais, our new girl, is supposed to be Cardi B light with a side of mayonnaise. And it ain't even sriracha mayonnaise. Like it's just, uh, maybe it's, it's a little bit. Now Anais does have some fire in her, but she's a little bit too much. It was just, it was just unnecessary. You know, this, this, that, and she's flirting with, uh, with rich poodles. And it was just like, uh, like rich poodles supposed to be helping her do whatever. And I'm just like, I've not seen rich poodles do anything for anybody. So what is rich poodles offering you that a random um, crackhead or somebody off the street can offer you? Like, girl, it's just not what it is. Like I said, y'all, this episode, girl, she was so boring. I just, I'm trying to see how long I can deal with Anias or a night, whatever her name is, a night. Girl, Anise, Anisa, or something. Nisa! I didn't like it. I did not like it. I did not want green eggs and ham. And that's what Anais was giving me. And I don't eat that. Like, girl, I don't even want a medium rare green eggs and ham. I just don't want it. It was just whack. Then we get introduced to another girl who is Dream Doll, honey. And I'm trying to figure out what Dream Doll is going to be serving us. She was rapping. Then she was serving us one, two step type of choreo. And it was just all over the place. Like, she like she was dancing and tap dancing on crickets and water bugs. Like, girl, she better step on their roads too, honey, because it's 11 o'clock at night and she done turned the kitchen light on. Like she had walked in the kitchen at 12, 1 o'clock at night and she just seen a bunch of water bugs and, and cockroaches and she just tap dancing on them. She was dancing, rapping. I was just like, ooh, girl, considering that she, you know, got some situation stuff going on with Cash Doll. Cash Doll said she ain't, there's not going to be any more dolls. She's um, having her tubes tied. Girl, I don't know how Dream Doll feeling about that. Be honest, both of y'all fighting over some plastic stuff so y'all can actually build something else. That's just how I feel about it. A Dream Doll, like, I want to like you. You sure? You cute? You sweet? But this chasing Safari already in the first episode. Safari is flirting with you. Navarro is, um, I think that's what his name Oh, Girl, y'all got so many random people. I don't even know these folks' names. And he introducing her to um, Safari, and Safari already making a move. It made me think about how Rick Ross said in the industry, like, he can't help another um, female rapper on his team or something unless he smashed first. So I'm just not interested. Like, help this girl on her way, but I know you got to have a storyline or whatever so you can get a couple more dollars or whatever so you can keep adding that bump on the top of your head. Safari, I love your hairline, and I love your blackness, and I love everything about you. Girl, your forehead, like, it's been totaled out, and this is the bump up here, okay? Okay. Their hairline, we can tell it is not right. We can tell that the whole extend to the left, march. We know that your, your hairline is is is, is um backpedaling. Okay, your hairline is backpedaling, girl, and she giving me JROTCTs. Okay, girl, she, she like she just marching and she marching back when she off beat. Their hairline, just let it go, girl. Just throw that shit away like a frisbee. Hopefully, it come back to you. Okay, hopefully, it will. Um, you know, but him and Dream Doll, they trying to work something out, and I'm just like, girl, y'all just met about two seconds ago, but y'all about to get married or something. I don't know, girl. I just know one thing. I do slick Miss Cardi B on Love & Hip Hop New York because at least she would have gave me something to look forward to. We've not seen Little Mo. I'm interested in Little Mo. Little Mo brings the fun. Somebody told Little Mo, girl, girl, every time I turn around, girl, you got a new man. And Little Mo said, girl, well, stop turning around. Hello, girl. That video is so funny. I like Little Mo. I think she's going to, she can bring something real cute for Love & Hip Hop New York. I liked her on the other show that she was on. I don't know if that was, 
you know, the girls, um, R&B divas or whatever it was. I like Lamar. I think she can add something that we actually need because y'all ain't serving it to me. I don't know. Girl, Mona Scott, girl, you too busy working it with Xscape that you can't get Love and Hip Hop New York together, girl. You better call Tyrone or somebody to get it together. So, Brittany, who I don't even remember, this is the girl who has something going on. Um, she has a little gripe with, um, I think, who is it? Bianca. And she's just like, Jock, like, I need you to talk to her because you don't talk to her before I do, I'm going to hurt her feelings. Like, you need to let her know what the issue is. And honestly, I really don't care about Britney or Jock, honestly. It just seems like some play school type of stuff, like some um, little tights type of beef. Like, girl, y'all don't find somewhere to go sit down. But, you know, I do kind of want to like Britney because Britney was twerking. She was dancing. And it was cute. And I like me a dancer. So, I want to hear Britney actually rap or something. I want to see that side of her. I don't want her to be with this beef with Bianca. Bianca been working on her, her music for the last two seasons. We still ain't heard that much, okay? Okay. Chicken noodle soup with a um, side of go away from us with this mess. Judy is on her campaign to get Yandy looking like a church mom. <laughs> so Yandy got some type of event going on and she got her shoulders out and Judy pop up out of nowhere. So Mendeecees has an issue or something with Yandy, you know, wearing provocative stuff. Yandy been wearing the same stuff she been wearing, you know, but they wasn't even married or before he even went to jail. So Mendeecees, I need you to con concentrate on serving your time and doing that instead of worrying about where Yandy's shoulders at. Leave her monstrous alone, okay? Let her continue to spread love and happiness, okay? As long as she's being faithful. I mean, but you in jail and y'all not married. So what what y'all what are y'all doing? What what's the tea? So um Judy pop up, honey. Judy pop up and she trying to cover um Yandy with the cloth and she should have used it to cover up them edges, honey, because they look like they were not blended. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Miss Judy, I love you, sis. But girl, um, that ain't what you need to be trying to worry about covering up Yandy, honey. Yandy got her own stuff going on, so let Yandy do that. James R is introduced to the cast. James R is a rapper. Uh, whatever he wants to be, girl. I had to look him up because I honestly didn't know who he was. But I can't tell who he is because every time we turn around, his hairline looking like a bat, uh, Batmobile front cover. And then you turn around and then it looks like something else, like somebody lined him up with a straight edge. I'm not understanding who JR is, James, or whoever he is. Introduce him to me so we can talk about it. Him and Mariah Lynn, okay, aka Patty Mayonnaise, uh, are dating or whatever. Good for her. You know, uh, I don't even know. So Patty Mayonnaise, which is... <laughs> Patty Mayonnaise, a.k.a. Mariah Lynn, says she's working on music. Everybody working on music, but we ain't seeing it. And, she, you know, she's like, you know, James R., I like you. Let's do something. We can, you know, I, you looking so beefy. And they kiss it up in the pool, and I just wanted to throw up almost. It was just quite disgusting. I just was not flattered by it at all. Mariah Lynn says she has a concert or something going on. And she really gonna be tap dancing in front of Payless for um, two dollar off coupons. So she's talking to James R about coming to you know her little thing, um, her tap dancing at Payless. And she asked James R to come, and he said, "Sure, I'm gonna come and support." We gonna see how that work out. Navarro and Ashley, like, girl, who is Ashley? Ashley is Navarro. It's like y'all don't even know who these folks are. Like, it doesn't even really matter. Navarro. Um, and Ashley in a relationship, I guess they running some type of uh, pyramid skiing um, company or something. Ashley like, girl, that stuff that you got going on with Anias, you need to get that together. You can't be working late with her because you gonna be trying to do something, she gonna be trying to do something, and I ain't here for I'm gonna have to go check her. I'm like, okay, so I guess, you know, they, they finna do this for the beef or for whatever. It's just... Heard it all before. I feel like y'all running out of ideas over here loving Hip Hop. Like, Y'all running out of ideas. And I want y'all to take a page out of Meriton Madison's book or what they're doing with this season. Like, have some legit storylines for us actually to talk about. Like, this stuff that y'all got going on, it's just not believable. Y'all introducing too many cast members at one time. Like, it's just too much too fast. But see, I know why y'all rushing this because y'all trying to put Love and Hip Hop Miami January the 1st. But y'all rushing this. Love and Hip Hop New York was one of the first ones, I think, to my knowledge. And y'all just rushing it with this stuff. And y'all know that our girl Rima needs this time to promote whatever she's working on, if she's working on it. Safari and Dream Doll on a date, girl. 
Who cares? Anais meets up with Ashley and they sitting in the boardroom having a conversation. I'm just waiting on um, Yan to come out somewhere and be on the phone with no cord plugged up. <laughs> Girl, that was a mess. <laughs> How am I supposed to talk with no cord, cord, cord? Anais ain't hearing nothing that Ashley's saying. Ashley said, Girl, you need to be respectful. You calling my man at late hours. You talking to him and I ain't appreciate it. Anais said, Girl, I'm calling for the check. I'm calling for the bread. I'm calling for the dough. That's all I want. I ain't checking for nothing else with your man honey. So, you know, Ashley said she ain't trying to hear all that, girl. She ready to throw some fingers. She threatened to throw something. She got up and she tried to clock Anais and girl, Anais just sat there and just looked at her like the security had clearly stopped her before she had a chance to do anything. I'm just like, girl, it's a little too soon for all this. But, you know, this is loving hip hop so y'all go ahead and scrap and fight. We're going to cut the camera, move it around. We'll get the chance to do something else or something. I, I don't know. I mean, what, what y'all doing? So, Patty Mayonnaise, aka Mariah Lynn, performing at her concert or whatever you have and Gwyneth is putting it together, set DJ Self is on it. I guess he's gonna make some money, that's what he's saying. Girl, it's just I I don't understand it. I just I don't understand it. I, I'm getting DJ Self confused with Navarro. Navarro confused with DJ Self hairline. Safari's hairline confused with the dirt on the ground. I'm so confused and a lost for what is going on. Mariah Lynn, you got up on this stage and I thought you was about to just really rap or something. You had the song playing and you lip syncing and then you ain't even got no mic. Like you ain't, you hitting these type of moves. Like girl, what is this? What are you doing Mariah Lynn? Mariah Lynn, if you don't grab a mic or some choreography, like it makes no sense. Like you was over here doing this. Girl, what you doing the way? Sit your ass down. You looking stupid. Stupid die. That's what you look like. So while Panty Mane is over here performing, James R getting tipsy and drunk and he look, he trying to, you know, boost up the crowd and stuff. He's like, Y'all give it up for my girl, Mariah Lynn, like da da da. And DJ Self said, cut the mic, chat. They cut the mic on him. James R. is pressed. He said, I need to talk to DJ Self. He talked to DJ Self. He said, hey, I want to know if you're working on the bread, what you got going on for my girlfriend. Girl, y'all been dating for two minutes. And he already trying to talk, girl. This, it don't make any sense. So DJ Self look at him crazy. Mariah Lynn had to step on top of the table to break the stuff up. Just over. It was just, it was too much. This episode of Love and Hip Hop, for y'all to hit us with a cute first episode. Y'all got to it. Y'all gave us some funny stuff. But then come with this, like, if, if this was going to be about, just send me the episodes at justinatkingarees.com. If this is what y'all going to do, send me the episodes so I can review it. Because y'all send it to everybody else. Let me go ahead and review it the day before so I can drop it at 9 o'clock if that's what we're doing. Because we all ready for Love and Hip Hop Miami. Y'all giving us these finger foods and girl, we trying to get a whole breast wing and thigh. Girl, I don't don't want them bony bones, patty mayonnaise, and James are tap dancing, cricket looking ass. I ain't interested. And James, I ain't gonna lie, sis, you did look good with this that pink sweat on. I give you that. You did look sick there. I did like that. But that's about it, because I went through your music and I did not like that. But that's all I got. This season, Love and Hip Hop, I don't know what they finna offer the girls, but I know I won't be paying for it. Um, y'all tell me what y'all thought about this episode of Love and Hip Hop. Hopefully, we can get a cute episode next week. Maybe Mariah Lynn, like she gonna be, you know, appropriating um, black culture. Once again, I'm not surprised. I really don't. I, I don't see it for you, Mariah Lynn, at all. Dream Doll, I want to like you. Anais, you're coming off annoying already. But I'm hopeful. We, I'm hoping and praying and wishing. Hopefully, I need to rub a Buddha stomach or something. Hopefully, we'll get something cute. But considering how y'all about to try to drop Love & Hip Hop Miami out on the 1st of January, I just don't see it for Love & Hip Hop New York this season. But tell me what y'all thought about this episode and the new cast members. And I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye. Follow